Hey YouTube people, just wanted to show off my 3D printed um, AMD Raven Ridge Ryzen 5 build. This is a completely 3D printed case and it looks pretty sweet. And it's mini ITX and I just wanted to show you um, just how small it is next to a can there. And uh, so it's, it's pretty small. It's actually not meant to stand up on its end like this, but uh, more like this. And on the sides, there's the AMD logo uh, printed into the venting pattern. And the design here um, has a the, the AMD Wraith Stealth fan protruding from the side. And it's built that way with the uh, with the lid as such. It's kind of it has a recessed lip. And uh, if I pull that off there, you can see how things fit in there. Uh, if you watch the first part of this video, you saw uh, me prototyping a case, which was this case. And it did not, I, I came up with several adaptations moving from the prototype to the final version. Uh, the first thing is that I realized I could actually reduce the height of the case substantially. Uh, if you wanted to do a higher, uh, larger AMD, I think the Spire's a taller, you could have gone uh, about this height. But anyways, you saw how I kind of built that, that case out. Um, and the front hole caused issues with memory clearance and um, there are some issues with the supports on the back on this. So I, I moved things around um, and the final version of the case, I'm calling final, I, I actually need to reprint <laughs> this case in general. Uh, unfortunately, my 3D printer over there uh, the head became loose about right here in the print process and needed to be screwed down, which obviously I didn't do while it was moving, but that was what the issue was. And even though the front looks like maybe it was designed to have these lines in it, um, that it actually kind of looks pretty cool that way, um, as you can see with the sheen there, but it's actually meant to be completely flat. And uh, so there were issues. The... The AMD logo didn't print quite as clearly and nicely as it did on the prototype case. You can see how sharp and defined that is on the prototype case. On this one here, um, because the, the nozzle was wobbling, uh, the 3D print did not come out as nicely as I'd, as I'd like. That said, everything about this case works uh, great. Um, the Other than the fact I maybe need to reprint to straighten up the lines, it's actually... Uh, the, the design itself is solid. You can see that the back plate looks really quite nice. And um, oops, wrong top. That was a test top. This is the real top that actually fits. And it looks <laughs> really cool. You get a two tone effect. And um, anyways, I'm going to make these uh, files available on uh, both Tinkercad and uh, Thingiverse. I'll put the links in the description of the video. Um, I may upload some bonus footage of, of this printing. Uh, maybe I won't go into to that as this video is already kind of long. But I think it looks absolutely stunning. Um, it's pretty unique case with the fan protruding like that. Most case manufacturers probably wouldn't go for a look like that because it's just too hard to uh, make, make sure every single motherboard is lined up correctly, which really lets you bring out the power of a 3D printer. As you can see the my first print wasn't measured quite right, so I had to make some adjustments, but you can do that. If I wanted to do an orange top on this case, I, I could do that, or a blue or whatever color I wanted. So really, really cool concept to 3D print your own mini ITX case. Uh, it's a size that fits really well on something like this CR10 uh, 3D printer. And I'm really happy with this, how this turned out. 
Now, like I said, I'm going to provide the files to you um, so you can kind of play around with it on your own. But the other cool thing is this build is can do 1080p gaming. Um, I, I'll, I'm going to play around with the temps, but I expect that the temps will actually be quite nice because you have a really clear input and then it will blow out the sides um, around the motherboard. So I'll test that uh, in the future. Maybe I'll do a video on that, but uh, it actually, uh, I, I think it will be pretty competent in terms of, of thermals. But if not, I can reprint something else with bigger vents or redesign vents. That's the cool thing about uh, 3D printing, and it's kind of cool to bring uh, love of computers together with, with 3D printing and see something come out that you couldn't really, that couldn't exist otherwise. No case manufacturer would really design something like this. So really cool. Uh, it's kind of a, uh, even though it's fairly powerful, it can do 1080p gaming with that Radeon Vega graphics. Um, I'm just going to give you a rundown of the parts list so you know what will fit in here. So let's go ahead and, and pop the top. So like I say, it's a 2400G Ryzen um, CPU-GPU combination. I've got some HyperX RAM, 3200 MHz in there. This is the Fatality AS Rock AB350 Gaming ITX AC. And it actually, if I were to go the full Monty, you can see that it actually has some wireless on here that I personally probably won't use as I like to do wired gaming for the most part. Uh, but yeah, it's got those on it. Uh, so really competent wireless solution. And um, on the back of this board, there is a M2 SSD slot, which is that's where my storage is. I've got a 500 gigabyte Evo 850 and um, a Pico PSU 150 watt power supply, which gets most of the AC-DC conversion out of the box and into an AC power brick, which really helps you uh, condense the system a lot. So um, if you buy these exact parts and have a 3D printer, uh, you can build this case. Uh, so look for those links in the description. I hope you guys like this project. I'll probably do some additional videos uh, regarding uh, this this type of thing uh, with, with 3D printing. Um, the only thing that uh, I may come up with in the future is the way that the lid goes on. Like I say, I probably won't run this machine in the vertical orientation, even though I think it looks absolutely awesome that way. Uh, for the most part, I'll be using it as an HTPC, which is going to require that horizontal uh, location, horizontal orientation. So, um, but anyways, there's a the little power input right there. Um, I am just thrilled with how this turned out. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and we'll see you next time.